Hey, do CT. You know, I am sick and tired of what, you know, people are just going crazy and saying, Bret Hart's going to be the, it's going to be Bret Hart versus Hulk Hogan. Bret Hart, Hulk Hogan. I'm like, and I sit here, what, sit here and I wonder, is there something wrong with me? Really, there must be something wrong with me because I am not really feeling the excitement. I know people are finally fried up on both sides. Uh, Bret Hart has been, it's going to be great, even though he didn't really draw as much as The Rock or Hogan or Stone Cold or this, that, and the other. I mean, even instead of Triple H. I, I just can't get excited. Why is that? Am I, why is that? Is there something wrong with me? Am I crazy? I, am I completely lost my mind? Or maybe it's the fact that even though Bret Hart is hosting, you're still going to have the same old writers and the same old stuff, the same old SNL crap, you know, they, that they're going to have. Or maybe it's the fact that, you know, Ring of uh, TNA, you know, they're pulling Hogan and RVD, they're still going to crap on Christopher Daniels, AJ Styles, or hell, they're going to probably crap on the Young Bucks as well because they just recently signed them. Good, but I have little to no faith they're going um, to fix these things. I, I have little to no faith that the, the TNA is going to actually push these guys. They might push them over a mountain top, but, you know, not push them in the right way and actually make, you know, you know, make them more relevant. See, this is why I, I really feel that pro wrestling is it's on its last legs. Because they were relying on the old stars. Hell, Ring of Honor to an extent. I mean, how the hell can you kind of, can you justify me instead of going for the American Wolves? You had the Kings of Wrestling. The Joe Kings of Wolves versus uh, Kings of Wrestling could have been an awesome feud, don't you think? But no, you have the Kings of Wrestling going against the Briscoes, 2006 all over again. You can someone tell me why? Why did the uh, Ring of Honor uh, think that this is going to be great? Why did Adam Pearce think this is going to be so great? Because Ring, I uh, mean, why? What's the point? What is the point of this going through the same old hat all over again? Ring of Honor wants to be different, but yet they did the same old stuff that TNA and ROH, uh, TNA and WWE does. So what? Why? So 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 maybe I am going crazy. Maybe I should be locked away for these opinions I have, but I just, I mean, I, I just can't connect with all this excitement. I really can't. Because it's the same old shit, different day. And people are saying, well, that, and people, you know, should be happy. Oh, people should be like, oh, don't worry, they're going to push these guys, they're going to do this, that, and the other. I heard, it's just, you know, I heard the song dance before. I heard it before. I heard it before and everything else. And yet, that still hasn't happened. Had it happened in TNA, hasn't happened in WWE. All, all they do is the same old stuff. In fact, the only the sad part is the people who are most over in that company are two 40 year old men who are doing crotch chops and doing juvenile humor. That's the most over. And that's the real sad fact in the, in the pro wrestling business today. Because the majority of the fans, I'm probably, uh, I, they went to UFC and MMA in general. In fact, that's maybe where I should go. Because if this is the if this is the best pro wrestling I have to offer, then what's the point? What's the fucking point of me watching this stuff anymore? What, what what's the point? I I, I want to hear the points of actually watching this anymore. But I can't. I, I I don't see it. It's just the same old stuff, different day, and I can't take this anymore. I I, I really can't. Because all I see and all I uh, hear about. As well, did, did you got these uh, new car RVD? You get Bret, Bret Hart. You get yeah, this, that, and the other. But in the end, you know, <laughs> they have to find new stars and make it and make them and, and make them relevant. That's the only way to be get relevant. Because the reason why the Attitude Era was work because they made the WWE, the WWF at the time, and WCW made stars relevant. It wasn't about the NWO made them big. It was great, but. But Chris Walk, uh, Eddie Guerrero, Dean Malenko, Ray Mysterio, Duke, all those guys made them relevant. And I don't see that now. 
I don't see the WWE, TNA, ROH, or anyone else of those companies making people relevant. Hell, huh, one more thing about Ring of Honor. I don't know who, I think his name, his name is Alan Pierce, but what the hell, maybe I'm wrong, but who in his, in his right mind thought, during a, after a blizzard, doing a blizzard, actually, and people just got in their, uh, going to their arena, a black, even their old, their old guys couldn't make it in their arena. Thought, in their main event, this should be a draw. What was going through his mind? Then he think like, okay, this is a blizzard out. I'm gonna have a clear cut decision. Uh, make Tyler back win this, or make Austin win this clean, or this that and the other. But no, they went to a fucking draw. What's the point? No one really cares at this point. And it really sucks because Tyler Black, I think he's really good wrestling. But f you know what? That's just me. Um, that's just my opinion. If I'm wrong, video response me, comment, PM me, what have you. But I'm getting really sick of being a wrestling fan at this point. Like I said, this must be something wrong with me because you know other people are excited. I'm not. I just see the same old crap a different day. <sighs> Maybe I just need to stop watching wrestling for a while. <sighs> Maybe after one four, see if everything else shakes out. DCT here. Peace and love. I will see y'all when I see y'all. One.